Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm planning out a special week. I should say memory keeping a special week. This was the week of my birthday and the last week of school, graduation, all the fun things. So I have a lot of pictures to include and a beautiful kit to use this week. This is from Caress Press. I had a hard time finding a birthday kit this year for some reason. Um, there just weren't a lot of options out there. And so I found this one from Caress Press. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and very much like my vibe. So it's called Serena and Lilies. And I just love the color combo and the full boxes are just beautiful. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. The patterns are really cute too, like the combination of them. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, I also have this little extra box, which I may or may not use. And then I added on some foil because it's a special week, so we're going to go all out. Um, this sheet is very helpful. It's got tons of scripts and little icons that I can use. And then numbers as well and a weekend banner that's really pretty. I like that. I think the silver is going to look really pretty with this. I also have this sheet here with some overlays. I don't know what I want to do with the bottom washi. Like, I like it as it is. And this bottom washi overlay is, like, meant to be split. And I just, I don't have anything that I really want to add with it. I don't think. I mean, I can look through my um, washi here in a minute and see. But I think I might just leave this. But I don't know. We'll see. And then I've got this for full boxes, which is super pretty, too. I like this a lot. So it, this is going to be really fun. I'm excited. It was a great week. An exhausting week, but a great one. And I have, like I said, lots of pictures. So... Let's get started. I began by choosing some washi to pair with the bottom washi and I'm cutting down the strips, but don't do it like I'm doing it right now. I got weirded out that I was going to um, cut the strip too short, which would not have been even been that big of a deal because I would have had the other strip to like cut down. Anyway, I'm doing it the wrong way is what I'm trying to tell you. But what I'm doing is I place down the overlay, which is half of the bottom washi, onto the bottom washi. And then I'm going to cut on the line where the overlay is. But the thing is, it was really hard to lay down the overlay. I haven't done this in forever and I'm just really rusty. And then seeing it to cut it was kind of hard because it was so clear. I don't know. I just had a tough time with it. It probably doesn't look like it, but... I did, just trust me. And then I'm just adding in some Simply Gilded washi for the bottom. I just chose this gray with silver because it matched really well. And then just placing that across the bottom here. I went too far over on this side, but I will fix that in just a little bit. So I'm laying down the um, other bottom washi strip with the overlay to go under the washi. And I do think it looks really nice. Like the combo is really surprisingly good. I was kind of worried that it would like not match very well, but I've, I like it a lot. That um, chevron is just really pretty. And then I'm just placing the glitter headers down. I did color block this week because I just find that it's kind of fun and it makes me, kind of challenges me a little bit. So I'm laying those down in order of the date covers. That's what I go by with Caress Press kits. And then I'm putting in some overlays. I mean, we're going all out this week with the foil and it's so fun. I definitely don't want to sit down and do this every week because to film this, it took me like an hour and 10 minutes or something like that. Way more than I usually spend. I usually spend about 45 minutes. So this one was special though and I did put in the extra time and it was worth it. I just messed up here, but it was easy to fix because I don't use all of the glitter headers like other people do. And then I'm just using these numbers from the foiled sheet that I have. And I just kind of bring some more foil up to the top, which I really like. I'll add even more here in a minute. So I'm popping those in above the glitter headers. Usually, if I'm using a caress press kit like this, because the date covers are really thin, I usually um, white out the print on the page and pop them up a little bit higher. But for this week, since we are going over the top, I went ahead and put them in their normal spot here, and then I'm going to put in some deco, which I usually don't do both, but 
it looks really cute and I like it a lot. So just putting in the deco across the top, I usually start with the larger pieces and then work in the smaller pieces to like fill in. I found that's the easiest way for me to do it and it works. So I just keep using that method. I love the colors in this kit. They're just kind of a unique combo. The yellow is, it's yellow, but it has a just a touch of green in it, which gives such a nice contrast. And then the light gray is also just kind of brings some airiness to it. I just love it. And then just pulling in some of these little sparkles from the foiled um, sheet here. These were super hard to put in because they're so tiny and they would like stick to the tweezers, but I got them in there and I think it looks so good. I love it. And then just trimming off the excess that is off over the page and I love the look of that. So I just wanted to do all my favorite things this week. And then going to the sidebar, I'm pulling a couple of full boxes for the top and the bottom of the column. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and open the spread and add in the full boxes because I did want to use as many as I could. So I'm popping them in in their normal spots where I put them, where I found that works best for me. Tuesday, Thursday, bottom, Friday, Wednesday, always at the top, and then Monday is in the middle. Saturday, if I have room, I'll add one. If not, I'll just leave it blank. And then I'm just gonna add overlays to everything because why not? So these give me just a little bit of trouble because I am, like I said, a little rusty with the foil, but I got them all put in and they look so nice. I just love it. It's very subtle. It's not too much, and I found a box for each full box, and it just looks great. Love it. I'm using my ruler to press it down and make sure that it's nice and clear, although with caress press foiled items on the transparent paper, I don't have that much of an issue with it like I do with um, other foiled shops, so really good. I love it already. <laughs> And then going back to the sidebar, I'm gonna finish setting that up as my journaling section. So I'm gonna use one of these half boxes in the This Week header along with, um, well, I'll add in some other things later, some foiled stuff. Then we're gonna to move to the day-by-day -day memory keeping. That's what I love about using a planner like this is it has designated space and it all works perfectly for me. So first thing is I'm putting in my video for Monday, which was a plane with me. Um, I also have a picture of my class here. Such cute kids. They just, they got along well most of the time. <laughs> we had some, some moments, but for the most part, like just such a good combo of kids. They were really, really fun. I enjoyed them a lot. Okay, starting with the first thing was I got up really early at like 5 versus my normal 5.15 and I ordered my teacher planner. I decided to go with the 7 by 9 which I'm really excited about and it's going to be different but good. And then here's a picture of my class. I actually took that on Tuesday but I didn't have room on Tuesday so I went ahead and put it on Monday. And I usually don't post pictures of my students but this is so small <laughs> you can't really see them anyway but I know like each of them based on their very blurry form <laughs> but I just wanted to remember them because they were just really sweet um I put in a note here that this was the last few days with my class we played some games our grades were due like Monday at 8 a.m so we just had some time to relax and like have a little fun with them so we played uno one day like the whole period and I let them beat me and then I beat them like a million times, <laughs> but it was really fun. Um, I also put in a note that my dad is doing great from his hip surgery. Man, I just keep saying it's like a miracle, but modern medicine and like joint replacement is incredible. On the 17th, this was my 38th birthday. I do not feel that old. It just feels weird to even say that number. But here we are. <laughs> so I used a little Fox and Pip sticker to mark in that. I'm going to add some foiled stickers later. I forgot that I had them. Um, I also went on the reward trip this day. So I put in a little foiled hamburger, which is super cute, from the foiled sheet. We did have hamburgers when we went on our little trip. And then um, I just put in a note that I got some sweet gifts from my friends and family. Very thoughtful gifts. 
I wanted to remember that. And then um, on Wednesday, we had graduation practice. Did not go great. <laughs> Part of the problem was like our assistant principal wasn't able to be there because her son was ill and she came in late that day and we really needed her. <laughs> I did my best to like corral them, but it was just a lot. It ended, up, ended up being like fine and I shouldn't have worried about it, but it was still like something to note for sure. Um, also on this day, we had our field day. Yes, we do field day with high school kids. They love it. They think it's super fun. We end it with a um, kickball game between the staff and the kids. And it's just really fun. And it's like your last chance to just have a little bit of downtime with them. And it's good. Good way to end the year with them. Um, also, we had steak day. So where I teach, we have a dining hall and everything. And um, a couple times a year, we have steaks, like a whole steak dinner. It's incredible and really, really yummy. And so it was fun that they made steak day on the last day of school. <laughs> on Thursday, I did a training for our staff and it went really well. We got a lot done. A lot of useful things done and then for lunch this day we had like a whole staff whole district luncheon and they had it catered with a taco bar from one of my favorite restaurants in town so good and so I used a little sticker party taco for that and then I got my 15 year service pin I can't believe I've been at my school for 15 years it feels like not quite yesterday but it feels like last week if we're talking time like when I started, like I started when I was 21 years old. That's just crazy to think about. But um, let's see. Um, I put in a little quote that here that was like speaking to me. And then um, I went home early. We got to go home early is what I put. And I was just so, so tired. This week was so fun, but exhausting. The whole time and I had to make some Rice Krispie treats for our brunch the next day and that was fun. I hadn't made Rice Krispies in like forever like 20 years or something but it was fun to make those. I made them with Fruity Pebbles which was delicious. We had a half day on Friday and we had brunch um, a little potluck and we got to go home early which was really nice. And I went home and took a two and a half hour nap. I think I just needed to recharge a little bit, but I got up, ate dinner and like went back to bed because I was just so tired. And this once more with love sticker is like perfect for that. Um, it says I simply cannot. And then I put in my video at the bottom here. Um, I realized like that I didn't have room for this little note, but I did want to put in that it was not like me to to do that. I don't take naps. I have a really hard time turning my mind off, but on this day, I really needed it. So we got up early for graduation. So here's a picture of me in my car on the way to graduation. And then I just have some pictures here that I wanted to remember. Pictures with my friends and then a picture with the valedictorian who's also my friend's daughter. And I've just watched her grow up since she was three years old. And she just is such a strong and vibrant young lady. Like, it's crazy to think about little Maylee being all grown up. It makes me a little bit sad and a little bit, like, proud and happy. But it was a lot. And then I have a picture here with the graduating class because we always take this picture. It's one of my favorites. Super fun. And I just wanted to put a note here that I was just so proud of her and all of her accomplishments. And then on Sunday, I'm just putting in a picture of my nephew that my sister sent me. He just looks so cute. He's playing in the water. And then I took a picture with my kitty. I just chilled this day. I needed to just chill out and unplug. The only thing I did this day was took measurements at my sister's house. And that was just surreal and cool and I put in a note here that's like it's getting real that my sister's going to be moving to where I live and it's very exciting 
Um, on the sidebar here for my journaling, I put, I couldn't have asked for a better week. There was so much fun and laughter. I had a wonderful birthday made special by the sweet people in my life. 15 years in, how many more? It's so weird to think about time. <laughs> time is like such a weird thing. But here I am. I'm 38. Been teaching for 15 years. It's just, it's a lot. A lot of time. A lot of investment. But I'm grateful for all those years. And then for my favorite moments of the week, um, I didn't write it in right away. I went ahead and opened up the spread and kind of looked at it, but it was probably my birthday because people just made me feel special. And I think that's what everyone wants to feel on their birthday is just that you're like cherished and cared for and all those things. And I definitely felt that that day. So here's where I'm adding in some more of the little sparkle stickers, just wherever I had open space. I just put them wherever. No, like, real strategy here. I just wanted to add more foil to the spread. And this kind of brought in a little bit of foil. Wasn't overwhelming. I'm also going to grab um, these stickers that I forgot that I had from Sadie Stickers. I think they're super cute. They're little birthday stickers I got during a $2 Tuesday. And so I just put those in. And then I wanted to add a few little accents. So I chose some little hearts and some bows and just added those wherever I saw an opening for them, like on the Rice Krispie Treats. I thought that looks cute. And then on the graduation picture, just kind of adding little accents wherever I see a space for them. It's one of the things I like about foil is like, you can kind of add it in as much or as little as you want. And for me, I like to keep it minimal, but for this spread, it looks just so cohesive and cool with all the foil. Here's the spread all finished, and it's one of my favorites of the year. I can already tell. It's just so pretty and so fun and just such good memories from this week. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I went like all out too with this because it's really fun. I should do this more often. I always say that, but... I always need the reminder. I hope that you enjoyed this memory plan with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next time. Bye!